Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are filming an abandoned hotel today in Italy and we, I'm standing right now behind the check-in of the hotel. I'm going to give you room number 323. Follow me to your room and uh, let's check out the hotel. Before I take you to your room, I first want to show you the amenities of this hotel. This hotel is a five-star hotel, one of the wealthiest and best hotels in all of Italy. We have a lot of amenities and the first one that I want to show you is the ballroom. We have put a lot of work into this ballroom. We designed it in the 1900s and it's well known around the world. And now for real guys, because it's a pretty sad story actually. And we will first start off with the history of this place. In the 1840s, this was a pretty special town. There were a lot of attractions to see. So a wealthy man decided to build this incredible hotel. 1840s went on, the place was really famous and then they decided in, in the 1900s to put a few more rings to the hotel and this incredible ballroom. Over the years it was a famous hotel with wealthy people and they loved to come here. So the town flourished, a lot of new restaurants, the prices went up, everything was great. The citizens of the town they had a lot of work. Then the 2000s came. 2008, an economic crisis all over Italy. <sighs> this place got abandoned because it was not economically feasible anymore. The wealthy people moved on and the town went into a spiral. Nowadays in 2019, the town has recovered a little bit, but it still, the people can still feel it here in the town. There's a lot of crime in the town. And yeah, that's unfortunate because it is such a beautiful town. We're gonna tell you all about the hotel, show you this beautiful ballroom. As you can see, there's a lot of graffiti in here, but that doesn't matter. You gotta look at the structure. You can see the, the gold plating over there, the beautiful pillars. And then you can go around the room and you can just feel the energy of the people when it was still in use. People were dancing in here, being happy drinking cocktails, drinking martinis, talking to each other. And then Jody, I want to show the people the drapes hanging from the skylight. Have you filmed that already? That's one of the most magnificent things that I've ever seen inside of an abandoned building. There's just, just no words for it. I would have uh, wanted to see the atmosphere inside of this place when it was still in use. Okay. Let's show you the rest of the hotel. So as I told you, it was one of the richest hotel in Italy. Um, for the rich people in Italy, it was a five-star hotel. And a room costed around a thousand euros in that time, in the 2000s. So adjusted for inflation, I think that's around 1,500 to 2,000 euros a night. Pretty crazy, right? <laughs> Here we have a sort of a bar, maybe to get the cocktails and then go into the ballroom. We have this incredible fireplace made from marble. This is probably Italian marble because in the mountains of Italy, they gather a lot of marble and it's really, really well known for its marble, Italy. Over here's nothing. So then we're going to take a look on the other side of the hotel. There are around 120 rooms in this place. And of course, like I said, they have been added throughout the years. First, there were not that many rooms, but when the town got richer and richer, more and more wealthy people wanted to stay here. So it was economically feasible to expand the hotel and make it into this masterpiece that it's now, and now it's abandoned after all these years. I find that really sad, guys that such beautiful places can get abandoned and they can just destroy a whole town. Let us check. Yeah. Look at the beautiful painting on the wall from the arch. It's the same as the doorway over here. See? The doorway and then the arch painting is the same. I'm of course not going to show you all the rooms, but I'm going to show you a few rooms upstairs. And of course your own room, 323. And uh, let you check in for the night over here. You got to look through the junk, through the graffiti and see a beautiful hotel. That's what we are doing at the moment. Look at the toilet over here. Even this piece is designed. 
You can see the incredible doorway for the toilet. This was the disabled toilet over here. You can show that to the people, Jody. So the disabled people. <clears throat> they thought about everything in this place. Let's see. It's the administration office. Uffici administrativi. See there used to be the desk of the CEO of the hotel, I think. Or yeah, this was the for the administrative people. Maybe not the CEO. But yeah. Okay, then we're gonna take a look upstairs at the rooms. So yes, let's go upstairs. Let's grab the lift of course because that's way easier. No way. Is this piece already broken again? Damn it! Okay, let's take the stairs. <laughs> we're now on the third floor of the hotel and we're gonna take you to your own room. 323, let's see where it is. Is it over here? No. I sometimes forget where it is. Excuse me. <laughs> three, two, four. Yeah, this is you for tonight. Three, two, three. Go inside, check it out. Oh shit, they forgot to clean the room. Oh my gosh. Some homeless people have slept in here, I think. This was a single bedroom for uh, a person who came here alone. Maybe a businessman or something like that. This uh, room also had a, a bathroom with a small shower and a toilet and a bidet. But I think what's more interesting is if we find a suite. And suites are most of the times on the top floor of the hotel. So uh, let's check that out first. So we just made it to the top floor of the hotel and you can see we are standing in a hallway and with a stairway going up here. and. Uh, you can see the ceiling has been completely painted. It's very beautiful. And also really like the stairway. Here on the top floor are the suites of the hotel, which we are gonna show you now, right, right now. Okay, let's check out one of the suites on this top floor. I think this is the most beautiful one, so I'm gonna show you this one. See, when you come in, here you can put all your clothes and your bags and everything. Very handy and very organized. Then to the side over here, they got a beautiful bathroom with a bathtub, a shower, everything left behind. Then a king size bed inside of this bedroom. After a good night of partying in the ballroom, you could relax here with the wife. Maybe in the balcony with a nice bottle of wine. Just enjoy yourself. You have the beautiful view of the city here with the mountains in the back over there. On top of the mountains we got some beautiful villas. They are huge. Okay, we're gonna head down one more time because I forgot one room down there. So let's head down right now. We have another incredible room. This might have been the VIP room. I think this was the VIP room, yeah. These ceilings are just so amazing to see. I imagine that there was a big, big chandelier in the middle of those. Yes, this might have been for the VIP. The VIP VIP because this is already really rich in here. <laughs> okay, and with that all said, I wanna thank you very, very much for watching this week's video. This was an incredible place to explore. I've never seen an hotel like this and yeah, please like, subscribe and comment. Hit the bell notification button to get a new video every Saturday. And there's also a little link in the, in the description for Patreon uh, supporters on that. Uh, with a few dollars a month, then we can explore more places around the world. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye. Love you.